Good morning, good morning, good morning. I pray that you all have had a restful sleep on last night. I thank God for you being here to give God your first fruit. I thank you for even having God on your mind first on this morning. In the name of Jesus, glory to your name, God. Welcome to Commanding Your Morning, Day 131. Glory to your name, Jesus. Our thought for today, guys, is get involved in your own destiny. Get involved in your own destiny. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Behold, I will bring Israel health and healing. I will heal them and reveal to them the abundance of peace and truth. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. Our scripture for today is Jeremiah 33 and 6. That's Jeremiah 33 and 6. So let's go into the word of God and get our nuggets for today. Thank you, Jesus. Jeremiah 33 and 6 says, Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them, and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. And I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return. And I will build them as at the first. And I will cleanse them from all their iniquity, whereby they have sinned against me. And I will pardon all their iniquities, whereby they have sinned, and whereby they have transgressed against me. And it shall be, to me a name of joy, a praise and an honor before all the nations of the earth, which shall hear all the good that I do unto them, and they shall fear and tremble for all the goodness and for all the prosperity that I pr procure unto it. Hallelujah. Thus says the Lord, again, there shall be heard in this place. Hallelujah. Which ye say shall be desolate without man and without beast, even in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, that are desolate without man and without hallelujah inhabitant and without beast the voice of joy and the voice of gladness the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride the voice of them that shall say praise the lord of hosts for the lord is good for his mercy endureth forever. And of them that shall bring the sacrifice of praise unto the house of the Lord. For I will cause to return the captivity of the land as the first, says the Lord. Glory to your name, God. For guys, I'm taking what we're going through right now. The pepper. This pandemic that we're going through, this um, fear that they has sown into the land. God, what I get out of that, what I just read, what God is saying, come back to your first love. He's hit the reset button, okay? He's given us another chance. We got off track. We fell all into our feelings and our stuff that we thought that we needed Sometimes we're too prideful. Sometimes we don't want to admit when we're wrong. Sometimes it feels good to this flesh, so we want to continue to do that thing. And that thing is, is nursing that little 
area or that problem that we have right now. So we want to keep going into that. God is saying repent. He is saying repent from our evil, stinking, thinking, and ways and actions. And turn back to him. And he's going to heal us back to the way it was at first. Where he called it to. See, we caused this thing to get to too far in our lives. Hallelujah. We're not. It's not that we cause this uh, virus to come up, but God will allow things to come into our life to get our attention, to get our attention to wake up, to come back. Hold on. Don't go that. Don't go over that line. It's danger. It's danger over there. Come back, daughter. Come back, son. I love you. I know the plan. I have the way. Come back to me. Hallelujah. Come back to me. And let's do this thing the way it's supposed to be. The way I spoke it. The way I desired it. The way I created it. Hallelujah. The way. Hallelujah. The only way. The true living way. The light. I am the light. Come back to me. And don't keep going in the, your error. Into your negativity. Into your prideful ways. Into whatever you feel like is best for you. But repent turn away turn away from that that's what that's what what repent means to turn away from a thing not to go back and eat the vomit and continue to do that thing again but turn away from it and pray for God to give you something to replace that thing hallelujah look to God get in his word God already see what your actions are hallelujah he just looking for you to say it to, to have some type of action. Hallelujah. So he'll have some way to work with it. Hallelujah. But if we don't give it to him and allow him, then he can't. So don't get mad. So don't feel like what kind of God do we have? We have a generous, loving, compassionate, whole glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. He cares. Because if he didn't, this is a wake-up call, guys. This is a wake-up call. And just know, glory to your name, God. God can bring us through this. But the Bible also says, so when you get the reading the Bible and you're getting to understand the Bible and you're having a relationship with God and you're connected to God, God is going to speak to us and he's going to let us know. He's going to give us divine revelations of things. Things are going to get worse. So if we don't have God, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? If you can't hardly function in this pandemic right now, when something worse comes after this, what are you going to do? Who are you going to have to look to? Jesus is who we have to focus and get the relationship. We have to get his word. We have to walk it out. We have to find out what our purpose is in this world. Hallelujah. Sean, as sure as you're born, you must die. So we might as well do what we're supposed to do while we're here because no one is getting past that door. We got to, we got to die. We got to die. Hallelujah. But where you go after you die is the question. That's the question. Are you comfortable if God was to call your name right today, right now? Are you comfortable on where you would go? Is your soul going to rest in peace? Glory to your name, God. If you don't know God in the pardon of your sins, hallelujah, I admonish you to get to know him. I admonish you to confess Romans 10 and 9, hallelujah, and live your life accordingly. And ask God what we have from you from that day. And if you are already saved, I admonish you to repent. God said he pushed the reset button. And it wasn't for the world, it was for the people of God. Because we have gone too far. We have let too much. We have uh, compromised too much. And it's time to come back to your first love so that he can walk out, hallelujah, what he called it from the creation of this world in our life. In the name of Jesus, glory to your name, God. So let's go on in a little further on into commanding our morning on this morning, day 131. Thank you, Jesus. Get involved in your destiny, in your own destiny. Sometimes your success, progress, or blessings can be held up and hindered. Not because you are speaking negatively, 
but because others have released negative words over your life and you have accepted them as true. Lord, have mercy. Refuse to sit back and passively let life happen to you. Get active, involved in your own destiny. Aggressively reverse ill-spoken words, hexes, spells, and bad wishes. Hallelujah. Proactively design, construct, hallelujah, and engineer your life. What do you want your life to look like next week, next year, or even at your funeral? Will you be remembered for your accomplishments or only for what you might have done? Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. God cares so much for us. Do y'all see that? God cares so much even from the time we entered into this world to the time we will leave this world. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. If I don't be recognized for anything in this world, I want to be recognized that I was a spiritual being that loved God, a disciple, an ambassador that warned, hallelujah, that loved and encountered God and let that light and radiation, you know, beam off my life into someone else's life, that I led somebody else to Christ, that I opened, hallelujah, somebody's eyes and gave them insight in that dark, hollow, hollow place, hallelujah, deep hole that the devil thought that he was going to keep them in, in the name of Jesus, but that somebody, hallelujah, grabbed hope, hallelujah, that they took hope of their own destiny, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, through Christ Jesus, hallelujah, and walked through this life and came out of that desolate place in the name of Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Father God, hallelujah, I thank you right now. Guys, let's pray. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I am here by your design and, and am specially equipped to complete a Pacific assignment. I am not, hallelujah, inferior. I reject every word spoken over my life that is not in line with your truth. According to Isaiah 53 and 5, by your stripes I am healed from every physical and emotional wound. I reject all shame and, hallelujah, condemnation. I declare their power broken off my life. I walk in the hallelujah abundance of peace and truth from the day, from this day forth in Jesus name. Amen. Glory to your name, God. Do you believe that? We have have to go back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And reject Hallelujah, some things that's been spoken over our lives. Hallelujah, whether it was by our mother, our father, our sister, our brother, our pastor, our bishop. Hallelujah. Because, you know, these are human beings. They're not subject to mistakes or not being wrong. Hallelujah. Everybody can be wrong and in error. Hallelujah. If it's not what God's word says about you, it needs to be rejected and set into place in the name of Jesus and let God's word arise and take establishment in your life in the mighty name of Jesus so that he can get what he put in, hallelujah, glory to your name, God, so he can get payment what he has invested in us, in the mighty name of Jesus, glory to your name. God, I ask of you, hallelujah, that you give us the strength in the name of Jesus to proclaim your word, hallelujah, to reject anything that's been ill-spoken over our life from 
us being a child to now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to your name, God. And I thank you for setting us free. I thank you for giving us clarity. I thank you for giving us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on how to handle every situation that arise. Hallelujah in our life. And give us, hallelujah, the mind on how to reject that thing, that ill thing, that ill spoken word of our life, and how to speak your word of our life and accept it and proclaim it with confidence. Hallelujah and boldness in Jesus' name, I pray. Guys, y'all have a blessed day. God bless you.